the confusion between the JNU PhD and NTA is now almost clear. Now there is a no confusion if you are really interested for the JNU PhD, how you have to take admission depending on your eligibility is now clear. Everything is now clear and then in the next upcoming few minutes, you will going to decide that what you want to do if you are really very much interested for the JNU PhD. So before we start the main topic, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. So yes, this is the website of JNU, J-N-U-E-E -E, means entrance examination 2023, which contain all the examination, the masters, all the courses, MSc, MBA, PhD and DOP. Like, so you can see the right hand side, the link here to apply for the PhD program under JRF category. So they have displayed each and everything. Last date is 4th of August. So please make it very clear. And there is one notice regarding PhD and I just want to show you everyone academic section 2023 and 24 under JRF category. The application forms will be online and candidate can apply online from 5th of July to 4th of August by registering on the website. The intake and eligibility criteria along with the other details related to the PhD under JRF category are mentioned in the prospectus. We'll go to the prospectus detail very uh, in detail. So you must be very careful about the eligibility criteria and other details before application because things are going to be very means different as compared to the previous year. Now the online application forms through entrance examination has been announced separately. So you have to go into the detail. Uh, this is the page where you have to register yourself you have to fill all the online application with personal detail, qualification detail, professional detail and you have to upload all the documents including your photo, documents, eligibility criteria, everything and then you have to pay the online fees and you will be registered for that. But before starting this is the new prospectus and I'm very happy with the prospectus. They put each and everything in a very uh, like clear manner. So this is the e-prospectus. PhD prospectus. So listen it very carefully. Some important points are there. Like JNU offers admission in C. So JNU is offering admission to the PhD program through common entrance test. So entrance test will be there for the JNU, but the entrance test will be conducted by NTA. So they have clearly mentioned that the entrance test of 2023 will be conducted by the NTA. Now you have to to wait for the NDA, NTA update. Intended candidates are required to apply online for entrance test on the official website of the candidate means. Now, please make it very careful before uh, move on to the next points. So if you want to go through the entrance test, if you want to take admission in the JNU through entrance test, then you have to stay updated on this website. This is the NTA website of examination. These are the different examination and you can find the JNU exam link there. See, last I'll show you one example, Delhi University. Delhi University entrance examination of UG bulletin, PhD bulletin. They are conducting their PhD examination through NTA. Now, this is the tab JNU exam. Here you will get an update that the NTA has planned everything to conduct the JNU PhD examination. So here what is had been written except PhD for selection PhD, you have to go to the website and registration. So you have to go there, register yourself with each and everything once the NTA will conduct or set each and everything through the examination. So if you are a JRF holder, then you have to fill this uh, registration form and proceed for this step online registration is there for you now now see some important points are there do not skip anything like student not appearing in the prescribed test of these shall not be admitted 
so those who are not uh, going to the test they will not be admitted and the admission is through the entrance test plus viva voice so interview will be taken place and the for, for the admission the jnu will must apply separately after the declaration of the test see the entrance test declaration is not yet been uh, announced from the nta but that will be covered by the nta the syllabus of the entrance examination will be available on the official website now the jnu said like each and everything regarding the entrance test will be conducted by the nta so jnu is now free the jnu is now free they are only opening the form for the jrf categories so if you are having a jrf now the very important very different point is there if you are a jrf holder then only you can apply if you have other fellowship other than jrf then you are not eligible to apply this is very strange please listen it see if you have qualified jrf of csir ugc net icmr iush dbt exam then you are eligible but now they have clearly mentioned that those candidate who have awarded lectureship assistant professorship without jrf in the csir or any other fellowship such as nfsc national fellowship schedule caste or other backward classes maulana azad national fellowship national fellowship for pwd on the basis of lectureship are not eligible means they are not considering any other fellowship any other national level examination in the form of fellowship if you have qualified jrf then only you are eligible otherwise you have to give the examination so this is not good because they are getting the fellowship on the basis of the merit so they must be apply after that your interview will be there now for the gate holders you can only eligible for the school uh, for the school of engineering so you can apply and you will get the fellowship also now this is the index index is very long so do not get confused just see the main things like in general they have given just forget about the full prospector reservation will be given to each and every one because this is a uh, one of the top university i can say so they are giving the full registration now the eligibility is, is as simple as that as similar to the other ugc uh, rules like one year two semester masters degree after four years eight semester so if you have eight semesters bachelor degree then two years masters course four year bachelor degree then one year masters course will be allowed similarly 5% relaxation will be given and if you are having a professional course of four year then with 75% marks you can go ahead otherwise 55% marks so this is the main uh, criteria nothing special uh, they will consider like uh, except because those who are having a fellowship they don't have to give the examination and rest of they will be selected on the basis of uh, the category into 5 into 8 times got it jrf excluding fine gate also excluding but only for the engineering now the thing is that uh, if you want to join a phd through part time mode then also you are eligible uh, they are having a some special condition then you have to take permission as per the regulation no objection certificate must be there in order to process for the part time mode so you can avail that fellowship now these are the schools they have mentioned about what they are doing what syllabus they have what specialization they have what specifically they are doing so you can go ahead according to your interest of school like if you are from the international studies then check the eligibility accordingly like for example i want to check about like see according to the school they have mentioned each and everything language literature and culture what program they are offering what diploma etc etc each and everything is there so the prospectus is very long 108 pages so no need to go just just check your school for example i am in, interested in life science so i'll check all the things what they are doing what equipment they have what program they have what funding they have what what the level of faculty what collaboration they have they have mentioned each and everything <clears throat> so accordingly you have to perform you have to plan your candidature 
बिकॉज इंटरव्यू में अपीयर होना है सो यू मस्ट प्लान योर प्रपोजल अकॉर्डिंगली ठीक है सो दीज आर द थिंग्स दीज आर सी द रिसर्च ग्रुप हैज बीन मैंशन दीज आर द नेम ऑफ द रिसर्च ग्रुप अंडर विच यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन वायरोलॉजी सो आई चेक दिस इज द रिसर्च ग्रुप दिस इज द कोड ऑफ द रिसर्च ग्रुप एंड वॉट दे आर डूइंग दिस नेम ऑफ द फैकल्टी दिस एस सी ए एन पी वी के द फुल नेम विल बी देयर इन द टेबल बिलो सी दीज आर द फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स हु आर डूइंग दीज टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज सो यू हैव टू चूज वेरी कॉशियसली बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस प्रोस्पेक्टस एंड ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन इज वेरी यूजफुल स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन जस्ट आस्क मी आई क्लियर ईच ऑफ एनी डाउट थ्रू दिस वन हंड्रेड एंड एट प्रोस्पेक्टस पेजिस प्रोस्पेक्टस फाइन सो दीज आर द थिंग्स एट द लास्ट दे हैव ऑल्सो मैंशन द सीट अवेलेबिलिटी यू विल फाइंड इट सो जस्ट रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ थ्रू दिस पोर्टल and fill your application very cautiously personal qualification and professional and just finish it still if you have any doubt then just comment me join the telegram group and all the very best for the jnu and you have to wait for the nta when they will open the forms for the jnu for phd registration thank you so much have a nice day bye bye take care we'll see you in the next video